guys, Rootsy here. Um, the video for today is going to be a tag video that I worked on a few months ago. So I felt like I should give you guys a little more insight into me and the things I like, things about me. Uh, and so today's tag is the disability tag. Um, links to the original video that I was able to find are down in the description, as well as all the questions. Um, okay, so, uh, number one, what is the name of your disability? Uh, my disability is called Cerebral Palsy, or CP for short. Um, number two, how does it affect you? Um, CP affects my muscles basically uh mostly my back and my legs um i suffer from constant back pain as the muscles in my back along my spine aren't as strong as say a normal person would be with their muscles um and then uh also i don't have good balance so I've never never been able to learn how to ride a bike because of that. Um, and uh, when I was in elementary school, I would have to wear uh, wrist and ankle weights through school. And uh, also when I was in elementary school, when I was growing up, um, I would have really bad tremors in my hands. Um, and if you don't know what tremors are, tremors are just where your hands kind of like, just kind of shake like this. I, I don't know if I can like do it correctly because I don't have them anymore, but it's just like twitching and shaking. Like if you look at my hands now, like they're totally fine. Like I do get the occasional like this, like. Like, the little movements I'm doing, I'm not doing those on purpose. Those are my tremors. They're a lot better than they used to be. They used to be so bad. Like, I couldn't even, like, like hold something without it going like this in my hand. It, it, it was really bad. Like, I couldn't even hold a fork without having my food come off the fork because my hand would be shaking so bad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've had plenty of time to do therapy and just try to retrain my hands not to shake, I guess. Uh, number three, how, how and when were you diagnosed? Uh, well, uh, I was diagnosed a week after I was born. They found bleeding in my brain, which is called a hemorrhage. And that pressure on my brain um, was the cause of my cerebral palsy. And I mean, being born three months premature didn't help anything. I mean, um, I had CP and then my brother was later diagnosed with ADHD. And he also had uh, uh, really bad breathing problems that we had to take care of. Uh, number four, what is something you enjoy doing that you cannot do as much as you would like? Uh, this is going to sound really, like, like, s funny and kind of stupid, but for me, it's walking. Like, um, I love to be active and I love to walk a lot, but with, with my leg muscles and my feet, how they are, I can't walk long distances without having to take like two two or three breaks in between by sitting down because my legs will like try to give out and my feet will hurt really bad. Like even though I'm barely putting pressure, um, just the muscles don't want to put up with all that stress from the walking. Um, but, uh, even d despite that, I still like to walk, um, across town sometimes if I feel really ambitious, or I just go downtown, which is, like, tw 
the 20, 20, 20 minute walk. Uh, number five. Uh, what is one experience you would not have had if you did not have your disability? Um, I guess I could say the one experience that I wouldn't have had would be probably meeting other people with disabilities and having the happiness to know that I'm not alone. Um, because living in Ohio, uh, especially where I'm at, there, there's not too big of a population of disabled people, but there's enough where they have a center for it, for people to go and, like, get help and stuff. Um, and I also don't think I would have had the advocacy of my grandmother, my dad's mom, um, she's been my biggest advocate, like, all throughout my life, um, with helping me with my disability. Um, and I might add, because I have cerebral palsy and I can walk, doesn't mean I'm not as, um, um, it doesn't mean that I'm more entitled than someone who has cerebral palsy that's in a wheelchair. Like, it affects everyone differently. Like, um, I was lucky that I'm able to walk now, uh, because I had to go through so much therapy, um, and while I was a baby, even, uh, my grandma told me that therapists would come into to her house when our mom took us to live there with her because she couldn't find a house yet, um, with my dad. So we had to go to our grandma's house and we stayed there for a long time and the ther therapist would come in and out and help us, mostly helping me try to stretch my legs, learn how to walk, learn how to stand on my own, you know, like all those things that like babies do normally, um, my brother and I, we had to have help with, we had to have assistance from other people, really. For that. Uh, number six, what has your disability taught you? Um, cerebral palsy has taught me that not everyone is as strong as they think they are. Um, and I say that because I can lift about 30 pounds of weight if I'm like picking something up. And I've recently found out if I go to the gym, um, this arm can, can, uh, press, like, 30 pounds or 45, yeah, 30 pounds, but this arm can only press, like, 10 pounds. This is my weaker arm, and it's my left arm, too, so it's kind of funny. Um, yeah. Uh, number seven, does your disability affect you planning for the future? Um, in a way it does because I'm on a uh, social security income. Um, once I get married, um, I'm told that that will not be possible for me to have once I'm married. I, I'm still not sure what to think about that because I'm pretty much living off that money right now. Um, and to have it be taken away just because I marry someone is pretty silly. Um, cause like we're poor as it is right now. We're struggling to make ends eat with, ends meet <laughs> with what I make and what he makes at his job. So just... I wish it wasn't the case. It probably is the case. I'll have to do some more research. Uh, eight. If you could give your younger self one piece of advice about living with your disability, what would it be? Um, 
I don't know. Um, honestly, I think I lived my life pretty well with CP. Um, because I had a good support system and it wasn't as serious as other people have it, um, I consider myself very lucky in the fact I can walk and the fact I can even talk okay. Um, because when I, when I was in elementary school, I had a very horrible stutter. Um, I think every... Every other word out of my mouth would either be uh or um. And I would sometimes say them in like really quick succession like uh, 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 um, um, um. And like it would just be so bad that like people would get frustrated with me when I couldn't talk with them properly because of that stutter. And I don't know if you guys can still hear it, but I do still have it a little bit because it's never going to go away. Um, right there. <laughs> I, I just said, um, when I was thinking and it's kind of like, it's kind of an unconscious thing for me to do because my mouth is so used to me saying, uh, and um, when I was younger that it's not going to go away. Um, <laughs> I just said it again. But I think I mostly do it when I'm trying to think. Like, when I'm trying to think about what I want to say. And I just need, like, a moment to pause. So it's not really that noticeable now. Uh, number nine. Talk a little bit about th three other disabled YouTubers you enjoy watching. Um... Well, uh, as of late, I've watched, uh, Sabia and Lauren. Um, Lauren is just such a big inspiration to people everywhere, including myself. Um, the fact that he's been so happy with what happened to him with the accident is really amazing. Um, I look up to him and his wife, like, they're so strong. They're really good people. Um, uh, they had a live stream the other day and I wasn't able to attend, but I, I did see the notification and I was like, oh my gosh, they're doing a live stream. I'm really happy for them to be doing what they're doing, you know? Um, and they're kind of at the point where I would, I hope to be someday with like a bunch of, um, subscribers and people who just care about me a lot. Um, uh, two more. Uh, another one, uh, he, he's not really a YouTuber, but he does have some content on his channel and that is, uh, Jame Jameson Hill. Um, he's more active on Twitter, kind of, and he suffers from, uh, li um, Lyme disease and a couple other things, but, uh, I found him, like, last year when I watched a documentary on, on uh, Netflix, and the documentary just painted him and a lot of other, uh, people in a really bad light. But he's someone that I'm kind of sort of acquaintances with. We've talked a bit. And he, he's just really fun to talk to. Um, he recently wrote a book. And it, 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 it came out in stores back in January. And I really want to get myself a copy. Um, it's called When Force Meets Fate, a memoir. And I will link down below his website, his Twitter the videos he published on YouTube about his book, all that stuff, I will put that in the description down below if you guys want to check him out. Um, the third one, uh, <laughs> honestly, I don't really watch that many disabled, um, YouTubers regularly like I do Sabi and Lauren and, uh, Jameson Hill, so I can't pick a third one. Um, and then number 10, tag four disabled YouTubers to do this tag. Um, again, I don't really watch enough YouTubers to do the tag. 
um, and I know that plenty of other YouTubers have already explained their disabilities and stuff, so I, I wouldn't want to put that burden on them again to kind of redo everything. Um, so yeah, that's the disability tag. Um, if you guys want me to go more in depth about my disability, uh, feel free to leave a comment or like the video. Um, I'm not sure how many likes I would want to get to do more on it, on my disability, maybe like 10, 10 likes to do another video on this subject. So thank you guys for watching. Bye!